We often cite um, the really um, obvious, well, they're obvious in hindsight, business models like Uber or, you know, and fixing a broken industry like the taxi industry. Where are some of the lesser known areas of digital disruption that you're seeing, some of the more surprising areas? The less visible forms of disruption, um, to, to extend what Josh was talking mm -hmm. about, one of, uh, one of the most common patterns of less visible disruption is simply the intermediation or disintermediation of an industry that is refusing to be disintermediated. So if you think of what has been disintermediated, it's been media, telecom, uh, information intensive industries, uh, but there are many other information intensive industries like banking, education, healthcare, just more regulated and where the costs of participating in a faulty transaction are so high that you wouldn't want to uh, participate in an alternate market. So I believe that there's disruption happening on the fringes in financial services, for example, with peer-to-peer -peer lending. So that's a whole area that is less visible today. Another area that's fairly less visible right now is the reorganization of supply chains uh, on networks. So we, there's, uh, the first real example of reorganization of supply chains on networks is Wikipedia, because the whole writing, editing, uh, consumption, everything got reorganized on a network. But there's uh, startups like Quirky coming out, which allow the design, the manufacturing, and the selling entirely on a network model. And with the rise of 3D printing, I believe that this will b become even more pervasive. So again, this is again happening in the fringes. A, th a third model that I see, which is really not visible at this point, is resource-intensive, non-information industries organizing themselves around networks, digital networks. And GE made a big um, uh, s sort of a theme around this with the industrial internet, which is connect all your machines and add data, a layer of data on top of your machines and you have a new form of value. We're seeing this happening in mining and oil and gas and very resource intensive industries, but still at the fringes. So these are three things which I believe will happen a lot in the coming days, but we're seeing very initial signs of these on the fringes right now.